Just how old are your fairy woods? Do you want to pick up some extra distance? It might be time to upgrade to newer technology. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm joined by Skylar. Skylar here is a sales associate. She works at the Second Swing Minnetonka store. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be talking about old versus new technology. So Skylar, we happen to get quite some interesting trades sometimes here yes. at Second Swing and we've stumbled across some older fairy woods. Mm -hmm. So the clubs that we have found traded in are the Cobra Baffler Steel Classic. They've got a Lady Cobra golf shaft in them. Um, definitely quite the small club head, that's yes. for sure. Yeah, so I could not imagine trying to hit this if I was going to grab a golf ball out. I feel like this is the same size of, that, of the club head with that seven wood, so it's, it's tiny. So the focus with technology these days is MOI. So that's mm -hmm. moment of inertia, forgiveness essentially with, with golf technology. If you have a small club head, it's just not gonna be very forgiving. So we're gonna put it to the test today. Oh what, goodness. What, uh, what fairy woods have you been, what fairy wood are you playing? I play the TaylorMade Sim 2 uh, three wood. Three wood, okay, so perfect. So I, we have a three wood. So we'll go three wood versus three wood. We also have a seven wood. That club head's even smaller. So I actually happen to find a Sim 2 seven wood as well. And we'll compare them both and just see how well you do hitting both of them. Well, let's do it. All right. Um, I do expect that your newer technology will outperform these, but you just never know. I hope so. All right. So here's the Baffler Steel Classic. We'll uh, first start with this and see how it performs. First, we'll start with the three wood. How does that look at uh, dress? It is so small. <laughs> I mean, just looking at it is, I can't believe it's a three wood. little chunky. Yep, a little heavy. And for the sake of today's test, let's, uh, let's not take out any outliers. So we'll include all the misfits and everything in. So I'm get that pretty that solid. That felt okay. Yeah, one, four, eight smash. I'm so actually this, surprised. So this is interesting because when I did this test, um, you know, being, you know, being a better player, I find the middle face a little bit more, more often. Not saying you don't find the middle mm -hmm. face, but it's just, it's gonna happen more and more the more practice you put in. Mm -hmm. What I noticed is my good shots with the older technology were still pretty good, but my, my bad shots with the older technology weren't as good. But I'm curious to see what the, what the range is when we have Skylar here, who's kind of like a, what are you, about a 10 handicap? Depends. Depends on the mm -hmm. day, yeah. So mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna change a little bit based on your skill level. Mm -hmm. Ooh, not good. All right, so that's, uh, let's take a look at these shots real quick before we grab yours. We'll notice here, um, highest ball speed that you got was actually shot, shot number two there, 115 miles an hour. It's the one that went 196 yards. Uh, but all the others were kind of a little bit lower with regards to the efficiency with, with that particular club. I'm going to be curious to see what the height is with your, with your fairy wood as well and also comparing it to this one. But mm -hmm. same thing, you think just small club head, intimidating, anything, any other feedback on this club? Um, it is intimidating looking down at that. You know you kind of have to hit it perfect. Your miss hits are not going to be as consistent as they would with newer technology. And it feels dull. I just on your miss hits, it doesn't, I don't want to say it hurts, but it's, it doesn't feel good. It's almost like hitting a baseball when, when it's cold outside type of thing. It's really dull. Yeah, that's not a very good feeling if it doesn't no, feel good in, in your hands. it is not. Okay, so grab your three wood here real quick. I'm just curious to take a look at the size difference. If you're gonna put that down next to the, uh, the Cobra fairy wood, just give me some feedback on, uh, on what, that, what that looks like. <laughs> Honestly, looking down, it's crazy how much it's changed. Yeah. Um, just hitting the few shots with this, this almost, the three wood now almost looks huge. 
I mean, even bigger than it normally would. Um, you can just tell it's so much more elongated and even just the face is so much wider. <laughs> yeah, I mean. it's, it's crazy how far technology's come. And yeah, and that, that's a steel fairy woods. I mean, mm -hmm. steel fairy woods, they, I'm trying to think when they kind of came out. It's obviously been 20 years, but I don't know how old that particular fairy wood is, but it's definitely, uh, it's, it's in pretty good shape for how old that particular model is. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say your fairy wood. Mm. All right, well, that was a miss hit. Still a little bit of ground there. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, well, we'll tell you that's the highest ball speed that you've had so far. And wow, was that straight. Mm -hmm. That that's felt good. Really good. A little chunky. Yep. Nice. A little faster ball speed on that one. Well, I'm not going to lie, it seemed like the ball was flying a lot straighter. Yeah, definitely. Um, and we take a look here at the dispersion here, carry distance, total distance. That's kind of what you would expect, right? Yeah. It's, it's tightened up the dispersion pattern a little bit. Quite a lot, actually. <laughs> it's a lot, lot straighter there. With the, with the newer technology. Uh, if we look at these numbers here, it's interesting, the club may be a little, little bit lighter compared to the older, older model there too. So your club speed was just a little bit, little bit faster. Um, you, ball speed, I mean your lowest ball speed here was 106, and then you had a 99, a 104, 104, 103. So basically your lowest ball speed was, the sec, was almost as high as your best with the, with the Cobra, which is, which is interesting. Um, we take a look at distance, 164 going 196 with, with your fairy wood, 144 going 173 with the older technology. So this, this, is, this is huge. The best shot you hit with the Cobra Baffler Steel 3 wood, 165 going 196. Look at your average with the Sim 2 Max, 165 going 196. Mm -hmm. Really, that's really cool to see. Um, so. We know you didn't hit, hit it great. We're taking a look at your efficiency, even on, on when you're hitting your fairy wood. Now, not everyone's going to hit great shots all the time. Mm -hmm. um, your, your handicap, you said you're kind of 10 plus, depending on the, on the day as well. Mm -hmm. um, forgiveness is important. This game's hard. And that's what I'm kind of trying to breach here is, if you've got some older technology you've been playing that's in your bag for a long time, definitely worth the consideration to upgrade to something newer. because. Mm -hmm. MOI forgiveness has been a real big push with manufacturers over time. Okay, uh, so that's the three wood done. You, we also happen to have the matching seven wood. I'm curious to see what happens with the seven wood as well. So switch back to the, uh, the Cobra baffler again. Oof. Yeah, that does not feel good. That was a little low on the face. Wouldn't want to do that when it's uh, cold in the morning, that's for sure. Absolutely not. I think having a graphite shaft helps a little bit, which I'm surprised it is graphite, truthfully. But there's not a lot of feedback with it. <laughs> mm. I mean, that's not It wasn't bad, miss. Yeah. That felt the best. A little right, maybe. Yep. Ooh. A little miss it. Yep. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so imagine this. This game can be hard at times, and we don't want to make this game hard too hard. So we have used technology to help us out a little bit. Mm. I can feel it coming off the toe. It's so small. Okay, so wasn't as performed quite as well there with the with the seven wood. You can see a little high and a little bit right mm -hmm. when you're hitting those five shots. Let's now add in the matching Sim2 Max seven wood that we happen to have in the store, and we'll take a look at some numbers and compare the differences. 
Mm, it's a little right. Yeah, a little right. That one was hit well. That felt better. Nice. Pretty good. Definitely a different sound. It is. And it's crazy too that it's a bigger club head, but the club feels lighter. I guess it's steel compared to yeah. what it is now. But Oh, I pulled that. I went to drill a little bit there. Yep. That's a miss hit, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that one clearly was a, a miss hit. That one we know you left the face angle mm -hmm. wide, wide open on it. So that's why the bull went over there to the right. You see carry 152 going 167. So if we take a look at um, the numbers here, even your your averages, even this with the Cobra 7 wood here, we're not even as good as while well, you hit that last shot. So mm -hmm. that, that's interesting. Okay, so if we look here, let's take a look at the differences between the two of them. What I find interesting here is actually, <laughs> so check this out. Your bull speed was faster with both the three, with the 7 wood and the 3 wood than the, the 3 wood and the 7 wood with the Cobra. So you actually, your 7 wood the seven wood went just as far, carried further than the three wood with the Cobra Baffler steel. That's crazy. Yeah. So loft is important, that's gonna help us out there too. Um, but yeah, it's clear that those two definitely perform better overall. You're getting you know, higher carry distance with the newer technology, 164.7 with your three wood versus 144.5, so 20 yards of carry distance, seven wood, 159.3 with the SIM2 Max 7 wood, 139.8. So another 20 yards of carry distance separated the two of the technology. So we could almost say, it's a, it's a wild hypothesis or theory, but you almost pick, say these clubs 20 years old, that you picked up a yard of carry distance per year of technology. Now that's, just, a, so. that's just a wild, wild out there because there's so many variables that can go into it. But we just mm -hmm. see, yes, we picked up distance by playing new te newer technology. And then the forgiveness level too, that was the other, other piece as well. You can see, you know, I'd ask you, which circles do you like up here? Well, clearly the three wood, you hit the mm -hmm. best. Your, your three wood, that's the, those yellow circles. The white circle three wood was kind of a little bit over the place. Um, when you hit the seven wood with the Sim 2 Max, you had four here that were pretty good. That last one, you just let the face open mm -hmm. on a little bit as well. But even still, if you compare that to uh, the seven wood with the Cobra Baffler Steel Classic, quite like short it. and quite far over there to the right. So why make the game hard on yourself, right? Newer technology, and it doesn't have to be 2021, 2022 models. It could be something that's five, six years old. It's mm -hmm. gonna be a huge upgrade to older technology. And what you're going to have there. The technology has definitely changed a lot. And at second swing, we got options. We got either a new custom fitting, or we do have sell used golf clubs in the store here that is going to help offset the price a little bit and save you a little bit of money. Any more feedback here? Seven wood versus seven wood. Did you notice the difference again between them? Um, of course, you know the head size, but even just like at like when I do hit it, the confidence level I have with a bigger head, it's just. I know my miss hits are still gonna be better than my best shots, I feel like, with the older club. And I know there's a huge gap in technology, but I just have so much more confidence hitting this versus. Right. Mm -hmm. And these, these kind of fittings are, are fun. When I have someone come in with older technology, as a fitter, I'm, I'm kind of licking my chops, but at the same mm -hmm. time, I'm, I'm hoping that the newer technology is going to way, way outperform it. Because if it doesn't, then I obviously would look like an idiot saying that the new technology is going to, but it always does. Mm -hmm. uh, the new technology is always going to be better than something that's really, really old. Um, it's just gonna be more forgiving on those miss hits. I'm not saying you can't hit a good shot with, um, with older technology. You take a, look, take a look here, you do have that one shot there with the three wood that was almost as good as your averages with the three wood, but same thing here. Almost as good as the averages, but yeah, averages 
consistency, you're not going to hit a good shot every single time. Why make mm -hmm. the game hard? So golfers, if you're playing clubs that are quite a few years old and it's time to upgrade, come on into Second Swing. We'd love to help you out, get you into some newer technology. As I mentioned, it doesn't have to be brand new custom fitting. It can just be a good, solid upgrade. Also, if you love this content, please subscribe to the channel, send us some comments, and also like this video while you're at it.